Today we talk about elbow strikes. Hey, welcome to Practice Wing Chun, where we discuss Wing Chun and answer any training related questions. My name is Edgar, and this is episode 46 of Practice Wing Chun. Today we talk about elbow strikes, and this was inspired by the Practice Wing Chun 30 day challenge. Because for the past few days, I've just been practicing my beauty form, where we use a lot of elbows, all types of elbows. And today we'll be talking about the ways you can use elbows to your advantage and when to not use elbows. So let's start with the not. So when to not use elbows. You should not use elbows to lead, with, lead your attack with. This means, for instance, let's use the dummy. So you do not want to lead with an elbow because what happens? I do not reach my opponent. They are still too far away. All they have to do is take a step back or shift or do anything and I'm already out of it just because my sensor line changed where the sensor line haven't. So I should not be accommodating myself when I attack my opponent. They should be accommodating me. So I have to disrupt their sensor line for my attack to be uh, effective. Now you can always try to close the distance to the elbows but you kind of endanger yourself if that's your goal to try to just get into their space just to land an elbow strike. Because yes, I get in their space, but now I'm in their space, their territory. If they're good, they'll take advantage of you being in their space. So yes, you're in range to an elbow, but your opponent may not let you do it. So when should you use your elbow strikes? And this is when you have the advantage. So you have to lead up to the elbow strike and once again, you want your opponent to come to you, or if they don't come to you, you make them come to you by doing lap cell or uh, creating combos where you get into their space and you close the distance to do the elbows. So, for instance, let's start with the lap cell. So, with the lap cell, and uh, as I grab them from behind, I pull them in to elbow. So, I'm pulling them into my space, I'm disrupting their center line just so I can get the elbow. And if you recognize this, this is actually in the first section of the Wing Chun dummy form. So you go Monsel, strike, pull, and as you're pulling in and lopsawing, you change your lopsaw hand to an elbow. And that's bringing your opponent to you. So that was one way of getting your opponent into your space. And Another way is to use lop cell another way. And I'm going to say lop cell a lot because once again, that's one of my favorite moves. So I can either go lop cell as I pull them in, boom. So they're coming in with the motion of the lop cell. I'm pulling them down and then I elbow them because they're already coming in towards my uh, space. So this is very similar to the first um, version where you kind of just pull them in to your elbow. So this is to guarantee that when you do the elbow you're not left open because this is one of the weaknesses of using your elbows. It's because it's short range and it can lead to a lot of openings because your body is no longer facing your opponent when you use it. And yes it could be really powerful and very devastating but if you can't close that distance, if you can't get them to come to you Elbows should not be the answer. You should find some other solution to get into your opponent's space. And in class, we practice a lot of these drills where we kind of pull the opponent into our space and then find an opening to elbow them. It doesn't always have to be head on to their face. It could be to their bodies, lower bodies, above the body, or even pinning the body. But whatever the case, uh, we never lead or start attack with an elbow. So that's something to keep in mind if you are considering using elbows in your Wing Chun. So are you working on your elbows or is this something that you have to wait until you start beauty to begin doing? 
Um, let me know in comments. I'm really interested to know how other styles do it or how uh, you've been learning elbow strikes. So until next time, keep training.